Driving a forklift is a big responsibility. Not only are you responsible for safely transporting your company's materials, but you're also responsible for the safety of those working around you. It seems easy enough. However, it's all too common that forklift operators don't take their job as seriously as they should. Are you one of them? I hope not, because if you are, you're definitely headed for some trouble. If you have an accident, you're going to have to answer to your boss, and that's never fun. But even worse, try explaining to your wife that you lost your job for screwing around. It's not a pretty picture. If you ask forklift operators what their job responsibilities are, you're likely to get variations on two responses. The first one, the right one is, I realize that a forklift is a powerful piece of equipment and I operate it in a safe manner at all times. Another response is, I'm just forking around. If you think just forking around is gonna cut it, well you might as well just quit right now and hope the local burger joint has an opening behind the grill. Because before you know it, you're gonna have another accident and you'll be out of a job watching reruns. Your company is giving you training but were you paying attention? I hope so, because if not, we're going to find out right quick. We're going to play a little game called What's Wrong With This Picture. We show you some video clips of some guys driving forklifts in a warehouse. Then it's your job to find out what the guy's doing wrong or what unsafe conditions exist. Then we'll play the tape back, tell you what was wrong and how to fix it. Fair enough? Most of them are easy, so don't worry. And who knows? You may find a few that we missed. All right then, here goes. A lot of people on the job have the attitude of, oh, I'm not going down. Well, this guy's not only wrong, he's going down like the Titanic. He must want those things to fall on his head or crush them between the other pallet. He seems awful concerned about hitting his head on the roof, but he's a little unclear on rule number one. Never ride on the forks of any forklift unless it's properly equipped. No exceptions. And away he goes, still on the forks, into the truck. Unbelievable! This guy thinks he's in NASCAR. Look at how fast he's going. You should never drive a forklift faster than a person's normal walking speed. Even if you are Richard Petty's cousin. First, he's driving with the load way up in the air. He sets the load down okay, but he drives away with the forks up. Who hired this guy? Drive with the forks about four to six inches off the ground.
Okay, this one's easy. Never leave a running forklift unattended. Turn it off and take the keys with you. And if it's got a seat belt, by all means, use it. If this guy actually makes it through a whole workday, he's going to wind up with a serious neck problem. Leaning out to see where you're going is not going to cut it either. If the load is too high to see over, drive in reverse so you can see where you're going. This guy's not only dangerous to himself, he's liable to kill somebody else. Speeding around corners and not sounding his horn. I'd hate to work with him. Always slow down. Watch for pedestrians and sound your horn. Proper lighting is important in a warehouse, so it's a good thing these guys are changing the bulbs. The only thing changing the lights is going to do is give everybody a better view of the accident that's going to happen. You must have an approved platform with proper railings to do this kind of job. After you clock in, inspect your equipment. Don't just drive off. How do you know what terrible things might have happened to the forklift you're using this shift on the last shift? Always inspect your equipment. This one's a no-brainer. Driving fast over a wet surface. A recipe for disaster. And besides that, the guy using that mop bucket there is probably somewhere nearby munching a donut. Well, how'd you do? 100%? 80%? Did you get any of them? Well, I hope you did pretty good, because if you didn't, you ain't got no business driving a forklift. You might as well turn in your keys and think about a career change. But chances are you did pretty well, and that's good. That's what you're expected to do. It's your job to be aware of safety hazards and take the steps necessary to reduce the risk. And that's precisely what most of you do. But some of you are just out there forking around, and that ain't going to cut it. You're going to have an accident and hurt yourself, or hurt somebody else. Either way, you're up the creek without your proverbial paddle. Take your job seriously. There's a lot riding on your knowledge and ability. Thank you.